thing that tried to bury you. And I want you to listen. I want you to, I'm gonna end this and then I'm gonna come back and pray, but I want you, I wanna talk to those of you that are really, really struggling. And I'm gonna talk to you about staying and still being here in spite of what's going on in your life. I want you to take inspiration from some others in our church who are gonna tell you what it's like to stay. Watch this and then I'll come back and pray. My name is Regina and I've experienced many struggles and losses in my life. The most devastating struggle I had in my life was when I was 22. My parents both died 12 days apart. They fought a long, hard battle with cancer. And they left me with two siblings, both under the age of 18 and both suffering with bipolar disorder. Five months after my parents passed, my son had a seizure and was in a coma for seven days. I was looking out the window one day and I cried out to the Lord in my fear and doubt and I asked him not to take my son. It was not two minutes later that I heard my son calling my name. God had shown up in a big way and, and left my son with me. And I haven't turned my back on him since that day. Two years after my parents died, my brother took his life in a manic episode. He really devastated me in, in that loss. But through it all, God has been there. God has provided for me. God has made sure that he has placed his people in my life. People that have provided for me, that have encouraged me, that have uh, strengthened me, and all of the things that God had that he has shown up. But you know, you never know what life is going to bring you. In the year 2005, I met and married a man that I thought was going to be with me forever, that he was going to walk with me and serve God with me. But that wasn't to be. Currently, I'm going through a very devastating divorce, and I can't believe the things that he has said and done. But God, his people, the things that he has provided for me, the things that he has done for me, he has provided friends that are encouragers. He's provided jobs and secret gifts of money. He has brought me to a point where I can truly rest in him. He has been my rock. He has been my sustainer. My name is Regina, and I am still here. They told me I never get to tell my story. Too many empty holes. It would take a miracle. These voices inside my head like poison, trying to steal my hope and silencing my soul. My story is only now beginning. Don't try to write my
My name's Mike. Going through a divorce was the hardest thing I've ever been through, but I'm still here. I'm Sue and I struggle with depression and anxiety. Some days are harder than others, but I'm still here. My name is Chris. Despite the darkness, anxiety, negative thoughts and struggles I face on a regular basis, I'm still here. I'm Kendra. I struggle with bipolar and cutting, but I'm still here. My name is David. I live with schizophrenia. I've had six relapses over seven years, and I'm still here. My name is Danette. I have a baby in heaven and a son with diabetes, but I am still here. My name is Jackie. I lost my son to death by suicide, leaving his wife and his two little boys in great distress, but I'm still here. My name's Katie. I've struggled with an eating disorder for the past 10 years, and I didn't think I would be standing here today, but I am still here. My name is Danny. I was a drug addict when I was a teenager, and I spent 32 years in prison. I'm still here. My name is Danielle, and I struggle with bipolar depression and anxiety, and I am still here. I'm still here, say it to the ache, lying there awake, say it to your tears, I'm still here. Because of God's transforming work in our lives and in the lives of so many of the rest of you, we can say, I'm still here. And one amazingly beautiful day, we will see our Savior face to face. And on that day, with very gentle hands, he will wipe away all tears from our eyes, and there will be no more death, no sorrow, nor pain. All of that will be gone forever. But until then, until then, my brothers and sisters, hold on. Don't be surprised at how hard life is. Access the resources that God has given you. Jesus, our savior and friend, his word, the mind of Christ, and all these other actions so that you can make good decisions and survive so that nothing, nothing can ever separate you from your intimacy of your walk with God. And nothing, no matter what has been planned to destroy you, will not destroy you. We can't do this alone. We stand on the stage together and we stand with you. Let me pray for us. Jesus, I'm so grateful that your beautiful scars have made it possible for my scars to someday be beautiful. For the scars of these brothers and sisters that right now feel, in some cases, like fresh, open, gaping wounds. 
who we can trust that our scars will be made beautiful. And until that day when you personally, gently, carefully, wipe the tears from our faces and put an end once and for all for sorrow, for pain, for death, for crying. May we hold each other up. May we hold each other up. May we help each other become more resilient people so that we are overcomers and that we could fill this stage with people saying, I'm still here. I'm still standing by the power and the love of Jesus Christ. I pray this in the name of our Savior and our friend.